It is full steam ahead for America's first high-speed rail line. Work is now underway on Brightline West that will connect Las Vegas to Rancho Cucamonga, California by the 2028 Olympics in LA. And high-speed rail between Vegas and Southern California is another step closer to reality. We have learned Brightline West has started working in Nevada. As a train will travel at a speed of 186 miles per hour. Brightline West are releasing some new renderings of what the inside of the train set is going to look like. Brightline West announcing today it entered into an agreement with several rail unions. It's official construction on a new high speed rail from Southern California to Las Vegas has begun. The first look at some of the work that's being done so far to bring a high speed train from Las Vegas to Southern California. Brightline plans to connect Vegas with Rancho Cucamonga, California using a 200 mile per hour passenger train. The trains will offer restrooms, Wi-Fi, beverage sales and a place to check luggage. Imagine escaping the bumper to bumper grind of I-15 and slashing your travel time between Las Vegas and California in half. Picture a journey where you sip coffee in comfort at 186 miles per hour, surrounded by panoramic desert views, while your car weary counterparts endure endless heat and brake lights. No more overpriced gas stops or frantic restroom searches. Just a seamless, futuristic ride on Brightline West. This isn't a pipe dream. It's the most ambitious high-speed rail project America has ever attempted. For decades, the U.S. has been stuck in neutral while countries like Japan and France raced ahead. But Brightline West is poised to change that, overcoming challenges that derailed countless past efforts. So why is this project finally gaining traction? Why now? And why here? Stay tuned as we explore how Brightline West is reshaping America's approach to travel, blending sustainability, efficiency, and bold innovation into a game-changing vision. America once led the world in rail travel but turned its back on the tracks in favor of cars and planes. High-speed rail projects have floundered, crushed by political resistance, soaring costs, and public skepticism. Enter Brightline West, a $12 billion project with the audacity to rewrite this narrative. Construction began on April 22, 2024, marking a historic step toward connecting Las Vegas and Rancho Cucamonga, California by 2028. This 218 mile rail line promises a journey at 186 miles per hour, slashing travel time to just two hours and 10 minutes. The route runs along the I-15 freeway, strategically designed to minimize environmental impact and reduce costs. Powered by 100% renewable energy by 2045, Brightline West isn't just a transportation project, it's a statement about the future of sustainable travel. Brightline West is a marvel of modern engineering and vision. Imagine gliding between cities faster than ever before. At blazing speeds of 186 miles per hour, this rail system transforms a grueling drive into a seamless journey. Stops in Apple Valley, Esperia, and Rancho Cucamonga connect passengers to Metrolink offering easy access to downtown Los Angeles. The train isn't just fast, it's eco-friendly. An all-electric overhead catenary system powers the line, eliminating emissions entirely. By 2045, Brightline West will run exclusively on renewable energy, setting a benchmark for green infrastructure. But the project's impact extends beyond transportation. Brightline West is an economic powerhouse creating 35,000 construction jobs and 10,000 union roles, while pumping $10 billion into the economy. Safety, too, is paramount. Elevated tracks eliminate dangerous crossings, while advanced technology, like the European train control system, ensures a secure journey. Brightline West isn't just a rail line. It's a challenge to the status quo. As it weaves through the Cajon Pass, a feat of engineering brilliance, it brings hope to a nation long overdue for transportation innovation. 
The stakes are immense. Skeptics point to the $12 billion price tag and single-track limitations, questioning its capacity and efficiency. Yet, this project has momentum. Bipartisan support and private funding have propelled it forward, making Brightline West a rare success story in American infrastructure. Its Florida counterpart, connecting Miami to Orlando, offers a proven template demonstrating the potential for high-speed rail in the U.S. Will Brightline West bridge the gap between cities and pave the way for future rail networks across the nation? The eyes of the world are watching. Brightline West is a vision of what the future of American travel could be. For too long, the U.S. has lagged behind in transportation innovation, watching other nations embrace high-speed rail while our systems remain stuck in the past. Now, with Brightline West blazing a trail, the narrative is shifting. This isn't just about getting from point A to point B faster. It's about reimagining how we connect cities, economies, and people. This project is a bold statement that's sustainable, efficient, and forward-thinking infrastructure can thrive in America. It's proof that public and private collaboration can overcome the hurdles of cost, politics, and public skepticism. As the train speeds along the Arts 15 corridor, it doesn't just symbolize progress, it carries the hopes of a nation ready to embrace the future. But the journey doesn't end here. Brightline West has the potential to spark a transportation revolution paving the way for future rail networks that could redefine how we live, work, and travel across the country. Imagine high-speed rail connecting all major cities, reducing reliance on cars, cutting emissions, and reshaping our urban landscapes. The stakes are high, and the eyes of the world are watching. Will Brightline West live up to its promise? If it succeeds, it could mark the beginning of a new chapter in American infrastructure one that blends innovation with sustainability, efficiency, and bold ambition. One thing is clear, the tracks are laid and the future is waiting. The question is, are we ready to climb aboard?